here. Will, do you have a do you have a beverage of choice there? Is it tea? Is it whiskey? What is it? Oh, right now I'm enjoying some um, blueberry flavored coffee. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. four p.m. <laughs> Dude, I I'm so addicted to coffee. I I drink coffee literally like like all day, even at like ten p.m. Jesus, it doesn't affect you at all. Nah, me, it's like I've just drunk so much. I guess it just has no effect. Yeah. Well, the blueberry stuff, too, probably doesn't have that much caffeine either. Yeah. You know, it's just like some cheap flavored stuff. Dunkin' Donuts. You, you should see the fucking. <laughs> How's well, it going? <laughs> background behind you, man. Yeah. Just, I wasn't sure if I should do it here with the animal prints or in the studio with the guitars, but this is more fun, I think. <laughs> this is perfect, man. How are you guys? Hanging in there, man. Hanging in there. Cool. Yeah, that's good. How's, how's LA right now? Dude, actually, it's, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. You know, the restaurants, they literally just reopened again for indoor dining. And so, you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah man. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be out there in May again. And hopefully by that point, it's moved into a little bit more where it's like the indoor stuff will be. Oh, oh yeah, by yeah. May, definitely. I think it should be that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Are you still in your spot, the Lemmy apartment? Yeah, man. You know, enjoying it, loving it, you know. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, but the viewers out there, that's Lemmy's, <laughs> that's Lemmy's old apartment. Wait, are we live right now on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought this was like just a pre-thing. like thing. I didn't know that we got no, live. No, no, we're actually live. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Okay, apologies. I didn't realize. Okay, wow. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, keep it going natural. That's the best part. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. We have... I don't know what's going on. Joseph, are you there? Muted. My internet's been very shitty over here the last two weeks. Um, I don't know. It must be that fucking... 5g thing that everyone's talking about that's what gave everyone coronavirus <laughs> yeah that's what that, that's what ruined our producer's life that fucking 5g controlled his brain so so will what have you been up to man um like musically or just in general just both oh okay well <laughs> um i just got back from washington you know i went there to explore the great state of washington the specific northwest which was nice drove through the mountains and sort of, you know, saw some national parks. Um, but, you know, just enjoying life in LA, man. Living in Lemmy's old apartment, just off the Sunset Strip and just doing my thing, you know, just chilling yeah, out. Yeah, so this was, so this apartment that has all the animal prints on it used yeah. to be the guy at Lemmy's apartment. <laughs> was it, was it, <laughs> like, was it the one on the Lemmy, uh, not in the Lemmy video or that, that, that movie it's that not out. the one yeah it, there's some confusion so when the documentary came out it showed him in his rental apartment which he lived for actually like most of his life like 20 30 years or something and then right after that documentary came out he bought a condo just across the street from from that same place and that's where i am this is actually the place he, you know he died in this apartment um, and he, but he only lived here for like, I think two or three years before yeah. he died. I remember the other apartment. Uh, I was kicked out of there. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually me and Jake coincidentally were there. Um, oh really? I drunk after the rain, but we, did, we, we didn't go in, but we were in the building, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I still yeah. remember that. <laughs> by, by the way, Len, Len, so Lenny is, is like, why didn't Will call me? He was like literally two blocks okay. from my house. I know, but Joseph, here's the thing. I'm not going to text or call someone who I have, who I don't know who they are. You know, if you, maybe if you could have like done like a call to say, hey, Lenny, you know, oh, Lord. I'm just going to call him out the blue, like just give this guy a call, you know, what do I, he's going to think I'm some deranged fan coming to like. He was know. expecting your call. <laughs> well, tell, listen, tell him I love it there and I'm going back to. Are you going to, are you going to move there? I'm not going to move there, I, but for real, I'm thinking about trying to buy a little plot of land and building a log cabin as like a getaway <laughs> because it's like you're in the mountains there's no one there it's it's so serene and it's just like i don't know it's so much fun I, it's, it's beautiful you were by that waterfall right yeah that, uh, yeah that's the, 
the snow yeah. falls yeah and, and but where i would be looking would be even like more remote like on a mountain or something that's where lenny is he's up on the mountain in north Bin, and uh every time i go out to his little studio you have to walk like 50 yards in the pitch black and you're like just looking out for bears and mountain lions and shit and yeah. I, I kid you not there are fucking black bears there oh, like that would yeah. go through the trash you're right i was we were gonna go to like walk through the national parks but then yeah. it has this warning it says something like um bear canisters must be you like you must have a bear canister i'm like what the hell's a bear canister oh well someone know, they know yeah, knows yeah, what they are <laughs> it's like oh shit i i didn't i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't saying that to bring that up honestly but 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 it says it has some like warning where it says like bear canister warning they're like you can't step foot in this place if you don't have a bear canister and i'm like why would you need that they're like because you'll be attacked by a bear pretty likely i'm like oh my God. God. i'm not going to that so you're going to trade you're going to trade the city life in to become a mountain man Nah, i mean dude here's the thing <laughs> I, I i've realized this i love la i'm so happy in la i want to live in la but I want to visit other places like, you know, once every month or so. But it felt great coming back to L.A., you know, for day to day living. I, I love being in the city. So it's like, you know. Yeah. Um, you, bought, you bought any new cars lately or you still got the BMW? OK, so <laughs> it's funny you bring that up, actually, because my BMW is now <laughs> five years old, which means that it's out of warranty. So, you know, it's just a smart to, thing to get a new one. And. You know, I drove my Mercedes in Berlin, had my BMW here in LA, so I think I'm going to get a Porsche next. What? Oh, I almost got a Porsche. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. What color, I Will? Couldn't, I couldn't fit anything in it, man. Always white. Always, Always white. new Mustang. Oh, you got a Mustang. Badass. So you drive the American one. cars. <laughs> I drive the German cars. <laughs> I just got a new California special. Oh, sick, bro. <laughs> I know I had to hear about it from someone else. Like I, I hear about Jake's adventures, like from a third parties. Yeah. You've got to go for an epic drive, Jake, like through, I don't know, like through Topanga or something. I'm going to get arrested in this thing, dude, because you don't even realize how fast you're going. It's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. All right, Will. Well, for the people out there, I don't know. Us three have a long history together. We actually formed Witherfall at Will's mom's place. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about that. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, yeah. But that whole tour, Will, let's take it back to that tour. Yeah. yeah. Let's um, go from the very beginning when you first- There's heard- actually a few fans online, like that you're watching someone who witnessed the, the start of Witherfall and all of its epic fucking nasty glory and mess. I don't know well, if- uh, if will i mean we were pretty fucked up that night i remember yeah. it i remember it because it was like the only good memory from <laughs> <laughs> the bell was pretty good too the we, bell was amazing i think we, it's we, that day the day was the bell yeah it was the same oh, day because we were already be, yeah. drunk after the bell yeah that was a great place man the other day i, I thought about that i missed such a good opportunity because i was trying to watch my weight and eat salads and shit and it was like one of the best english traditional english like pub fairs you could find i mean you got a plowman's lunch yeah man you, <laughs> you gotta you, you gotta break the diet in those situations um but no i just just tell everyone you know we were on tour with another band um should i name the name yeah, say the name. Name. <laughs> so we were, it's in we were the on... title of the video oh, okay so we were on tour with with White Wizard, and it was kind of like you know it was the it was basically the beginning of the end. You know the 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 Titanic was sinking, and it was um, not the best experience. The shows were actually great, but you know there were other um, personal issues between. Well, let's take it back to like when <laughs> we first got the idea of that tour, and I I was going to quit the band. I was yeah, like, that's <laughs> true. I remember sitting on the roof of your building with you and you're just like, well, nothing good is going to come from this. And I was like, Jake, trust me, it's going to be amazing, man. <laughs> Will was, I remember too, because Will was, uh, because Will was so excited to do that tour because it was going to his uh, his home territory. Yeah. I felt, I felt bad saying like, I'm not going to do this tour. And you're like, Jake, 
trust me. He's like, I actually get to play all the solos and my friends are coming out. <laughs> it's actually worked out for the best. I think Will was a little bit bummed when I came back to do it. <laughs> I remember you bought that that pedal, that, that fucking harmonizer pedal, and you were like programming it for like two weeks. Yeah, I mean, like Jake said, man, this was going to be the first ever tour I did through England. And I was just like, you know, I would love to do that, you know. Yeah, that was, and then somehow I got convinced into doing it. I had to buy my own ticket. That was, and then it turned into the Corolla tour. So we had two, uh, what was it? What were the cars that we had to get? Oh man. Americans won't know. They, we were driving through England in a Skoda Fabia, which is just hilarious because they're like, they're from Czech, I know, yeah, they're from the Czech Republic Skoda. Um, and we were meant to have two cars, but someone messed up and didn't get their car. So we only had like one tiny little car. So, yeah, we only, had, we only had two on that tour. I thought we, I, or no, we only had one. I thought we, we were meant to have two. That was the thing. We had this plan. Yeah. Instead of renting a van, let's rent two little cars. Like it's such a great idea. And, you know, I was going to rent one. Someone else was going to rent another one. I had mine, they didn't, and it caused a big problem. Well, let's go back to the, like, before before that, too, was, like, uh, shit. We did that tour of the, the West Coast, and we had two at that point as well. Oh, yeah, that was, that was when it, that was, like, the first test run of can we go on the road with, like, two regular cars. I guess it kind of worked, although we did lose a drummer from that one but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like the first part of the tour right because it was like we did we did that north america i wouldn't even call it north america we just did a west coast run it was like a west coast ironically enough the last show was in seattle where i just flew in yeah from. exactly yeah that's right and we booked it you and i and geo and don <laughs> from fucking seattle to la like, <laughs> hour drive and the best part was when we, we went to that olive shop that's on the five, I think. Yeah. Right. Northern California, right? Yeah, exactly. That, that was, was good. Fun. I remember that. That was good shit. Part of that tour. Also that in the strip club too, that you had to go eat a steak at. And like we, we went to the strip club and then John came in and was like, there was a better one. There's a heavy metal <laughs> strip club. And you're like, dude, I just ordered a steak. <laughs> 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 is it Mia's on? Oh, yeah, hello. Uh oh. <laughs> Mia. Hello. <laughs> Mia, hello. what are you doing? Good, thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Mia. <laughs> Mia, we're on. Awesome. How did you get on here? <laughs> I think, did Mia, did you kidnap Joseph and steal his computer or something? Is that how you got <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we were explaining situations actually mia you were there for our first show in brighton on that tour remember brighton was another eventful yeah but joseph said mia don't say anything so i can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but i remember the show it was all right yeah we played brighton that was the first part of that tour i think that cool venue that had the phil Lynott statue yeah yeah. And then, um, like, some shit happened then. I remember, yeah, that was the first one. We had to go pick up Joseph again at the fucking venue. Again? Well, no, like, we had left him there because he was going to go with John. And then it turned out that John had already left. And then, so we had to go <laughs> all the way back and grab him. Him and Don, I think you and, you and I did that, Will, because we were staying at some hotel often were we staying at your brother's place i can't remember well we were staying in a hotel just outside of brighton but yeah the problem was because we only had like one car i kept on having to go back and forth between the hotel and the venue to like kind of like give everyone rides that's right that's not that tour and, that's, and, jo and, and then joseph just happened to be the last guy at the venue so we had to go back to get him at like two yeah, joseph and Don. yeah and uh but yeah that's how it worked because we also had to load all of our gear inside of those cars as well so it would be like, and I had a flying B case that sat right in the middle. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So we had to drop the V off, hightail it back to the hotel, 
pick up the other members and come back. It was a nightmare. That was the first show that tour too. So, yeah. <sighs> Happy memories. Yeah. We have any viewers questions on here at all? What's going on here? How do I get to that? Sarah show? might have a question. Dude, I'm going to murder the people at my fucking internet provider. This is just, I can't even, I haven't even been able to work. It's taken twice as long to do everything. How many people do you have to murder every day? What? Mia? <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what the fuck are you drinking? That's the water. My water. Vodka? <laughs> I'm sure. <No>. For water. <laughs> my water. <laughs> Mia brand water. Awesome. Oh, we have some people on here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, yeah. You <laughs> Mia, how are you? Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm very good. We've been celebrating all week. Yes, yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah go, going back to that tour where we formed Witherfall, somehow we had like basically ended up, I think we can't, there was a show got canceled and Will was like, fuck this, let's go, let me show you my hometown. Yeah. But you're actually from Devon, right? Yeah, I mean, so just to, just to kind of like, people in England will notice, we were in Manchester and we had a gig somewhere close to there. I don't remember where, um, but it got canceled. And I was just like, you know what, screw it, let's drive down. Um, and spend the night at my mum's house in Lyme Regis, which is in, in Dorset, which is bordering on, on Devon. Um, but, you know, that's quite a bit of a drive to go from Manchester down there, but it was just a spontaneous thing. And so we just, like, drove down there, right? And then it was like, we got there just as, like, the restaurant was closing, So, but we managed to get in and eat and then have a few drinks. Right, we had, we went to a seafood place. Yeah, yes. so like in Lyme Regis, it's like known for like, you know, fresh crab and stuff. So we had like a couple of crab salads and some beers. And then we walked along the beach and smoked some cigars. And then I remember, I think it was like Joseph or you, you, you were just like, you know, this, well, this isn't what music's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I remember we had, uh, we went to a bar. We went to, bar. We went to another bar, some haunted yeah. bar. Remember that bar? And remember we like colored in this coloring book thing? <laughs> I still have that page that we drew on. Like, oh, really? It's, yeah, it's quite interesting, actually. Like, because we were all really hammered and we were, <laughs> like, we were writing, we were writing out our thoughts to like various people that, you know, were in our lives at the time. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. I remember the bar. I remember someone recognized Will. And Will was like, yeah, I'm on, I've made it. I'm on tour out here. <laughs> <laughs> Will was stoked. Um, was, uh, one of the local pubs in Lyme Regis. Yeah, I remember we did. Uh, yeah, and then, then after that, we were walking down the beach smoking cigars. And that's when Joseph and I were like, let's form our own shit. And you can find that story elsewhere. But yeah, that happened in Will Wallner's town beautiful area too and then the next morning we woke up and had crab salads and sandwiches which was great and then somehow we i don't even know where we end up after that that's when we went to uh oh dude that was the cardiff show the next night which we did without a singer yeah yeah <laughs> that's right yeah no you guys were gonna do the entire tour without me and you ended up doing like two shows and then jake flew home yeah, I remember you guys, uh, you did I London. I got a really bad, like all the stress from that week or something like <laughs> built up. And literally, I remember when Jake flew back, I had to spend the whole night, the whole day in the, in the airport um, hotel, Gatwick Airport, because I legit like came down with this really bad flu. It was really, it was like, it was That's crazy. right. Yeah, I remember Don that. and I were across the way, remember? Like we were in another hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we got lost. Like we almost got hit by cars on the highway. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because <laughs> we were in that hotel, right? Because we we're, were about to take a ferry to go to Europe. I think, right? Isn't that where? Yeah, that was we we did the UK part, and then we were going to go to mainland Europe. And Jay was just like, you know, fuck this. I'm just going to put. I re I remember <laughs> I, I this is a wounded 
this is like a wounded horse and it's like <laughs> gonna take it out of its misery and, yeah. and, and right off the funny the thing is is that will walner keeps digging up that horse's grave and fucking riding it every once in a while no no come on i mean i mean yeah well obviously it wasn't just really the song it was a listen that was a that was a a tough deal and you know i left la right after that and moved that's right there. that's true it yeah. wasn't because of it but it was like you know it all came to a clear like well you know if, if white wizard's done i don't have much going on in la right now i need to change but dude when i left la um i don't know what happened but it was like the only negative thing i'd ever had in my life was like <laughs> kind of like that and i kind of like when then as the years went by i thought you know i shouldn't have any like you know i don't know problems with people like personal you know issues and i should make things right and because because you know i did think like we did have a lot of fun times in white wizard you know all hanging out and stuff and especially like, that, that right. first tour we did that north american round the proper one with icarus witch yeah that, that was, was cool that was and, and jake jake of course you know going to japan the first you know yeah, show the first there, yeah, yeah. it's like you know those are great memories and so i reached out to john and i said listen man you know if i'm ever back in la i'd love to have a beer with you and, um, you know, just to be friendly. And, and I, I'm glad I did because now we're, you know, we're on good terms. We need to get John on this show because we love hanging yeah, out with Don. John knows everything. Yeah. Wait, you say so Don, Don or John? John. <laughs> we oh, John. no. We got it. Well, it's, it's ironic you say that, actually, because I have a special guest waiting to come on screen. No way. <laughs> Bring him on. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I was just, I, I, it was just a joke. I don't worry. I wasn't going to surprise you with John. <laughs> I thought you were going to bring an iPad out with John, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John. I mean, we love. I mean, dude, John's a fucking fun guy to hang out with, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a lot of fucking great times with him, man. Yeah, dude. And so, like I say, you know, when I moved back to LA now. You know, he's 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 trying to keep White Wizard going. So I said, bro, if you if you've got anything going and you need a guitar player, just let me know. And um, you know, they just put out a song with Mark Bowles on vocals and I played a few solos on it. So Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah. 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 The solos you, sound uh, great. So so after so after you uh you did that, you moved to Germany. Yeah, I moved to Berlin. Um Actually, our, our record label guy lives right down the street from where you live. We just found that yeah. out. Oh, in you, Berlin? Did you sell those places, Will? Did you, are they gone? My real estate in Berlin? Yes, yeah, sadly. I liquidated all of my um, substantial uh, property oh, in Berlin to find we out. Have been, we'd have been right there. Like, Dude, I, you know, like I say, I left LA with literally, I had five thousand dollars in my bank account and i used yeah. that money to buy a plane ticket and i moved to berlin with nothing and you know i i mean i had said this i think to jake but it was like you know i you know i was living month to month as a musician in la and it's like you know you know what it's like to do the starving musician thing and yeah you know, not much money going around in music these days so i just you know i i, I was like dude i, I gotta make a change because you know i want to kind of do something else in my life and so I moved to Berlin to kind of like try something different. And luckily it worked out really well, you know, and um, <laughs> yeah, now, now I'm back sure. and, you know, I'm you rolling. Can, he made all his money in Dogecoin, as you can see from the fucking posters behind him. Yeah. Right, man. Me, me and Elon Musk are buddies, bro. We're, we're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're cashing in on the cryptocurrencies, but now, you know, I mean, it's, it just is, but like I say, you know, I took a break and made some money and I'm back in LA and now I can do music and not worry about money, which is lovely. And um, yeah. I'm having a great time being back here. And yeah, like I say, John, you know, it's kind of like LA's actually changed a lot in the five years since I left. I mean, there's even less going on now, I feel like, kind of like mm -hmm. musically and stuff. And so, you know, John was like trying to find a singer for White Wizard. So I just put it out there. I was like, bro, you know, I know Mark Bowles. We should hit him up. And then we just did it. And um, trilogy, dude, that's one of the best fucking right. He, dude, yeah. Mark is a great singer, man. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I all I really did was just play some solos on there. But I'm 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 happy to do it. And and to be fair, actually, the other guitar player on there, James Larue, he's a really great guitar player. 
Yeah. Um, you know, he's kind of like, you know, more of a, of a real musician, you know, very, very ah. you know, a lot of... Um, Don't sell yourself short. We, we you I know, actually... I'm more of like, a, like my solos are just like, you know, okay, first take, maybe two or three takes, and then it's like, okay, that's fine. But, you know, he's like, yeah. really, you know, more... We got drunk and listened to The Devil's Cut the other night. Oh, wow. I did. Yeah, like, I, because I had it on vinyl on the wall, and I was like, really fucking drunk. And I'm like, let me take this thing down. <laughs> I put it on, and I just, like, laid there listening, and, like, dude, a flood of shit just, like, came back. Like, it was crazy. But you had some, you had some pretty memorable solos on that record. Like, Will I think... Had, uh, Will had the best solos on that record. Yeah, my- I mean, Jake was figuring himself out, but you had, like, some really cool melodies going on on some of that stuff. I mean, you know, I've always tried to be a real musician. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to say myself, but I always have tried to like, I don't know how, but I've always looked up to like real musician guitar players, you know, and it's like, I have always tried to, to, to be, I don't know, musical, melodic, let's say. Um, but, you know, it's always, it was back then, it was de- I was definitely like a lot of a work in progress, but now I've actually like, I don't know. I something happened this past year, like in 2020, I'm playing more than ever. And I'm yeah. working on like a ton of stuff, which I'm pretty excited about. Like, you know, it's, it's by far the best stuff I've ever done um, that COVID. I'm right now. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about that too. What are you working on? Um, well, you know, me and Viv, um, we're, we're making an album with, um, with Ralph Patlin. And um... <laughs> <laughs> Ralph didn't mix that last song. You and Viv. Yeah, so me and Viv, we're, we're okay. like, I basically, I decided that I'm going to take this time now to just try to make a great rock and roll album. You know, being in Lemmy's place, it's inspiring me. And I was, so I, you know, we, we started off with this one song called Back on the Strip, which is actually, I'm putting it out yeah. in a couple of weeks. Um, I think it sounds pretty, pretty good, man. Um, yeah, John Leon plays on it and Vinnie Apice's on there. Ooh, and, oh, wow. um you know, right, it's it's kind of like, it's going a bit slow because I don't want to rush it, but um, the album is called Duel and it's got some really cool um, stuff on there. Like we just, re- there's a song on there called Pay to Play, which is like kind of like a, talking about just the music industry and stuff, but it's yeah. kind of like, it's a little bit. When do you plan on that being released? I hope to put it out next year. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of like, we're just taking it song by song. And then I see Alex, Hey, buddy. Oh, Alex, no. I, I, I've on. been waiting we to tell you something cool, man. So in addition, so because... I have to get some wine. You was <laughs> taking a while. Yeah. Me and Viv decided to record a Thin Lizzy covers album. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And instead of having two guitarists, there's Will Warner on guitar and a keyboardist playing the second guitar parts and trading solos. Your good really? buddy, Derek Sherinian. Are you serious? Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> and dude, this stuff this is bad badass. We're, like me and Viv, we picked like these really old school deep cuts of Thin Lizzy, which like not a lot of people know. So they're like they're right. not like the generic hits, right? And it's just sounding heavy as hell, man. Like you know, like me and Derek trading so. Ha- have you actually met Derek in person yet? Oh yeah, I met. Okay. Dude, I met Derek um, when I was like 20. I went over to his studio in Burbank. Oh yeah, he's still the same space. Well, at least last I was there, he was still there. Well, yeah, dude, and it's funny too, because like like I said, I took a, a break and then all of a sudden I just checked my Instagram and he sent me a message and he said, Will, he goes, um, you're sounding great and you're looking thin and healthy. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, you are looking thin and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, "Do you need if you need any keyboard tracks? Let me know." And I was like, "You know what, man? Actually, I'm trying to do this Thin Lizzy thing, and I've been thinking about who can play like the second guitar parts." So I was like, "Do you cool, want to try it?" Yeah. And so it's, I think it's going to be like pretty cool, actually. Um, when it's, but it's, you know, it's, it, I'm still working on it. But most, right? Of the- yeah, dude, Derek shreds, man. That dude is, yeah. yeah. Actually, if you if you go onto my Instagram or Facebook, I just posted a clip of me jamming. And if you listen to it, I'm actually like recording solos with him. Tra- you know, obviously his is already recorded, but I'm just like trading um, licks with him. But, you know, you just see me. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to be cool, man. So I'm doing like, yeah, Thin Lizzy kind of like tribute thing. I'm making a solo album. Do you, know, you know, I, I, did I ever tell you that I actually, well, I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I actually know John Sykes 
uh, son. He's a keyboard player. Oh yeah, Ian yeah, knows yeah. John Sykes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, man. Well, that dude, that's fucking great. I hope yeah. John Sykes will put out some new music. He put out a song in January, which was like so cool to hear. Yeah, he's been, he's been kind of under the radar, right? Like the, there was a time, I don't know what happened to it. He was actually going to work with uh, Jens Johansson. Um, oh, really? To, was yeah, cool. he, he was, he was, the, him and Jens were talking about uh, doing uh, something together for like a while. Uh, but I don't think anything, I don't know what happened. Uh, but I was always like super stoked. I was like, "Oh my god, that'd be that'd be sick to ha- to see what those two guys could do together." But uh, yeah, nothing ever happened. Hey, I Alex. didn't know he put out something recently, though. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, it's called "Dawning of a Brand New Day." It's a it's a great song. But th- what's funny is this was recorded like almost like ten years ago. He's been sitting oh. in this album, and I don't know why he doesn't put it out. But this is I because I I've heard a clip of this song like almost like ten years ago. Um, huh interesting alex did you know mia is here on the chat i see that yeah how are you mia hello, hello, hello. it's been like uh over a year for sure yeah i think so yeah, yeah actually two you. years right i miss you alex. yeah no i miss you too yeah it was it's fun times yeah, tour. when when was the last time you saw mia will well in um what was it Düsseldorf? When I, I drove out to meet you guys right at the end of your tour, I think. That's yeah, right. I can't say anything. Oh, that's probably. right. We went and had, we ate all the Japanese food in Dusseldorf. Yeah. And then. It's very nice. Yeah. And you were going to buy a new Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Walner Wal- Wal- would do. Yeah. No, no. You missed what he, he bought recently. Oh, no. What did you buy this time, Will? I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to get a Porsche. Oh, which one? I'm actually, I'm going to get the SUV, the Macan, the new one. Ooh, nice. Man, I almost... That's For a second, that's I thought good. you were going to say you're going to get the, the, the Taycan. Let me tell you something. I was oh. going to get a Tesla, but my building... Which Tesla? I, I'd probably go with the Model 3, actually. That's okay. But yeah, you know, my building, stuff. I have a garage, but it doesn't have a charging thing. And it's a bitch to get to put a charging right. station in, into it. And I have so heard. I don't That's like the main it. reason why a lot of people are, are basically stopped from getting a Tesla. Because you basically have to own a house. You basically have to have a house. Well, there's, you yeah. see, there's this law, like where I live, because it's a condo. Um, like you have to get everything approved by the homeowners association. But there's this it's law. That says, yeah, I have that here as well. It's, it sucks. This, but there's this thing that says they can't actually deny you putting an electric charging station. Okay. But then you have to like set up some contract or something that says that like any future owner of your parking spot agrees to like maintain it and all this stuff. So you kind of like have to get a lawyer and draw up contracts. It's just like, it's, Jeez. it's horrible. Yeah, That's so the most like, you know LA what? thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the electric vehicle thing. Although I have pre-reserved the Cybertruck. Yeah, but there's an right. Awesome I remember you. That would yeah. subsidize that. I mean, what is it? Seventy five hundred dollars if you buy that thing. It's a it's credit. It's not even seventy five hundred dollars credit. It's not even a write off. It's a credit. You get seventy five hundred back just for buying the thing. Oh that yeah. Would no. it. Yeah. Right. I mean, right. Dude, don't get me wrong. If I could get a charging station, I get a Tesla. They are the future. I mean, you know, yeah. they actually banned the sale of. Uh, gas-powered cars in california by 2030 or something. elon musk is jerking like off 2035 right now. yeah yeah he better be i have a lot of his stock <laughs> i'm i'm oh, good job, um i'm definitely gonna get a tesla at some point but for now i'm gonna stick with the porsche it's, you know german dude man, it I'm, doesn't I'm really get porsche much better german? than a porsche man i i drove a porsche once i don't remember which one it was but uh it was incredible i was like oh i get it now i get why i get why porsche is like the car that everybody kind of dreams about having and driving. <laughs> yeah. I almost got the two. Sarah seats. Usel has a Tesla three. She says it's the best car ever. They, Actually, my, my buddy, uh, Chris Broderick, he has a, I think he has a Tesla T3. Dude, Marco I, has a Model S. Yeah. It's, they're fucking unbelievable. You can't even hear them. Yeah. You literally can't. Yeah. Some people actually add noise like on yeah. purpose. Oh, really? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Yeah, the car, the car I just bought, it has a V8 in it. It's loud as fuck. It sounds like an old. You got rid of your. Uh, well, you, you had a Dodge, right? It, though. Yeah, I. Well, no, I have a. I had a Mustang, and I got a new Mustang. 
<laughs> I was oh, going to get nice. a 217, a Porsche 217. Oh, wow. They just made an electric Mustang, but it's like a big, like, S- yeah, the E Mark yeah, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, Sierra Usel. Cool. We have someone that actually cares. Yeah, about I've that. I've always I've always kind of like thought about getting a Tesla. I could because I, I live in a house, right? So the charging thing is not a problem for me. But yeah, I don't know. If I move, it probably will be a problem. <laughs> well, they're going to be everywhere eventually. Yeah, yeah, my friend he actually told me he got one, and he ne- he doesn't have to charge at home because where he works they have chargers. Yeah, and you can like. No, charge here, oh yeah, that is here. In- here in Nevada, you can go to like any of like the outdoor malls and like yeah. the Whole Foods. You've seen them, and they yeah, yeah. have charging stations, and you can. It's free. Yeah, I, I mean I the think. the Target literally the Target right next to me has like ten supercharging stations at it. Yeah. Well, how long how long do they take to charge though? That's the problem. Well, the if supercharger is really charger, quick. It would take thirty minutes to charge. The, it takes 30 minutes to charge like 85% of the battery. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but by that, that's... that's yeah, but that's... Yeah. But yeah, the but problem is... Sorry, someone said, if, if you use only the supercharger, it actually is bad for the battery or something because it's like it's too intense. The best way to charge it is slowly with your regular outlet. Yeah, so basically you use the supercharger when you're doing like long trips or whatever and you need to like, you know... Yeah. Yeah. do that but uh cool ideally thing. yeah you're charging it at home when you get back at home every day it'll yeah. like tell you like wh- where you need to go like if you want to do like like say california to florida it'll give you a, a route yeah it'll map out yeah it'll map out oh you're gonna have to stop at these charging yeah. stations and yeah. this is how long wow. it'll take and it's pretty it's it's, it's pretty cool yeah where the future man. yeah and it'll like yeah. drive itself for you and you can like watch netflix exactly. yes fucking drink in the car that'd we can cool. pra- we can practice our scales jake while we're uh, <laughs> right, 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 down, right, right, down the freeway and booze up just get yeah. drunk the entire time i'll drive it for you i think that's still illegal but you could definitely I, I don't think there's any laws <laughs> against pl- practicing your scales though car hey I are just, you allowed to keep your hands off the wheel is that i mean uh, you, you have to put it on but you you're know, supposed they this, yeah maybe this iphone holder that straps onto the wheel that like protect that like fakes it so it thinks that you're holding on to it you know oh I mean? my god so um, it's like a radar detector for the modern day kind of yeah <laughs> wow. i was speaking of pricing scales jake i just saw like a video that you put on instagram it was like some instrumental it was like really good oh yeah that's oh, something recently did. sorry yeah we, yeah we just did that the unyielding grit um of each passing yeah, day that, this came out friday actually that's the instrumental off the off the new record dude it was badass yeah, cool thanks sick man. Yeah, that one was. We had Marco Miniman on that, who fucking killed it on the draw, and then Anthony's doubling all the lines and shit. Yeah, that one was. That's a fun track on there. So, but yeah, that's up on on our YouTube right now for anybody that's watching. There, you probably already fucking know, but but cool. Yeah, thanks for checking it out, man. I, well, yeah, I, I actually saw it on your Instagram, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to post it on there finally. I actually had to get uh, Everton from the Witherfall. Brazil fan page. Thank you for giving me that video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? I'm pretty sure Joseph sends it to everybody before it even comes out. Like I usually get it from Joseph. Well, he had the link to the video, but uh, not any clips. Oh, clip. okay. So thank yeah. you, Witherfall fan page Brazil, for that. Yeah, thank you, and thank you for uh, for all the lovely Brazilian models uh, wearing the Witherfall swag or. If you're photoshopping them onto them, I hope that they are uh, giving you permission because we wouldn't want you to get me too'd. <laughs> so get me too'd. <laughs> me? I would never know. I've been me too'd. I've seen it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Oh my god. Oh. God. Um, you know what? I'm, you know, Jake. We were talking about this earlier, but I'm really fucking upset. Because I think you're going to end up being right, and I'm not happy about that. The tour? Not happy. Yeah, I, 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 we obviously can't say, but uh, yeah, for sure. But it's not looking good in Europe right now. No, I just read something today too at the E. EU. Oh, what happened now? Exactly what exactly what the source from yesterday told us. Um, yeah. I read just about it today, and yeah. it's pretty crazy, man. Um, yeah, they're fucking it up over there. 
there's like a thing that's too that's like actually sarah sarah you're from sweden right so maybe you can <laughs> sweden's okay yeah. it's like all the northern countries are not are pissed at the southern ones don't think that they're responsible um <laughs> that's fine we can just tour the Asian northern Europe? part of europe yeah why not germany wasn't that world war ii <laughs> Yeah, Mia, you're in fucking Germany. Yeah. Tell us yeah. what's yeah. going on. Germany is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> they just did a new lockdown in Germany. Yeah, and they stopped well, like one of the, the vaccines, vaccines too. Vaccines aren't coming out there. Well, no, Mia, one of the I'm vaccines they this. stopped. I can't remember which one, but. <sighs> yeah, the. the, the because apparently there's like a slight chance, like, or somebody had like some reaction to it that was slightly higher than they were saying they no no it was like 19 people out of like hundreds of thousands that got sick from it and they scrapped it based on that tiny st statistic there's like not even statistically significant it could have right. been anything that got them sick and they just dumped them the u.s dumped them and sent them down to mexico and uh i heard from some reliable sources that in mexico like they were giving all like the rich people like those vaccines that Biden dumped down there and then having fake ones sent to the clinics and they were giving people fake vaccines and some people died. Oh, that's crazy. Dude, Bruno, when I was uh, hanging with, with Bruno uh, last week, he told me in Brazil, uh, they're, uh, the, 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 the medical professionals, the nurses aren't even like really injecting people. Like they'll inject, they'll put the injection in someone, but they won't actually like put the vaccine in them so they'll like they'll fake it and then they'll take it home and like administrate it to like you know their family what? and other people How long and, can that yeah last, though, with it? you have to have special refrigeration for all well these. you can yeah you need a special refrigeration uh for the like once it's out for the day you can have it out for the day it's uh you, it doesn't need to be in ref that refrigeration the entire time like like when you take a when you, when you have like a, a certain amount of doses that you're going to administer for the day they can stay out for like over like i think for like 24 hours or something like that yeah. they can stay out for quite a bit of time like just in normal room well, temperature i i got my my second my second dose of uh moderna on thursday and i've been sick as shit for the past two days yeah i know a bunch of people who when they get their second one apparently that's when uh that's when the side effects and stuff really kick in brutal. like i had i was in bed with fucking shivering and my body was 104 degrees like jeez dude crazy, man. yeah uh yeah, yeah, yeah like the first one, i get i get my second dose in like oh. two weeks like a week and a half something like that you're gonna die alex <laughs> i'll be prepared <laughs> yeah no, Joseph, did get you get your second dose yet no on the third okay um so witherfall won't be so wither fucked uh, we'll be ready to fly over to fucking Europe, but uh, yeah, well, we're, yeah, Europe just Europe needs to not fuck it up. Us. Well, yeah, it's not at this point. Europe, the, it's the U.S. is looking like it's gonna have tours first, which is insane. That is I insane. Never thought that. No way in hell. Yeah, yeah, I would have thought that that Europe for sure would have been the first to it. I mean, it looks like it looks like uh, you know, Britain's doing fine, but because of Brexit. You know, that's because they won't let anyone in. Yeah. <laughs> well, also the vaccination stuff, too. Um, right. But they yeah. have their own and they're not sharing. And what, what's your view on that, Will? Being a. Oh, well, m my mom got it, the vaccine. Um, and, but, you know, in, in the UK, it's like it's available to anybody and they're just begging people yeah. to everyone come get it, you know. And that, so it's, that's a smart way to do it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's available for everybody here, too. Not so, yet. Oh, yeah, I guess not you're not. Enough. Yeah, you're right. Not everybody, I guess. But I mean, you could anyone can sign up and get it in California. Yeah, in California. I already got mine. Mm. They, oh, just did that, they were doing so. like some age thing. So it was only going to be available for like young people like. No, yeah, there's, multiple, there's multiple. There's um, multiple eligibilities. It's not just the age ah, okay. thing. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I kind of like I didn't give a shit. It's like I, are you an anti-vaxxer, Will? No, dude, I'll get it, you know, if I have to, um, you know, because they were talking about in the UK, for example, they might have vaccine passports, so you might not be able to go out for dinner and stuff without it. So if it comes down to something like that, then I'll get it. But 
before then it's like you know i'm not scared. nothing shall come in between will and dinner <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's like, you know, I, <laughs> dude, I, I'm pretty sure I had it anyway. So it's like, you know, I'll, I'll, I don't mind being at the end of the queue to get a vaccine. But, you know, I'd rather not have a Yeah. I, I mean, in California, they're saying uh, April 15th is when anybody, any adult can get the vaccine. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard too. I was yeah. like, I wasn't sure what the news and Is that Lucifer, Mia? Yeah, Lucifer. What? No, oh, you know what? Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Lucifer looks mad. Where's my cat? Yeah, I gotta get my cat here. This guy has said that. Holy! Oh shit. my god! I cannot even read your name, man. Enikio Iretiza. Witherfall sound a perfect mixture like King Diamond, prog metal, neoclassical style, and something dark. You hit it, nail yeah. on the head. He also said, "Good job in White Wizard." <laughs> yeah, he said, "Good job in White Wizard." Dude, look oh, at that cat! cat. Whoa. <laughs> Become the cat channel. Well, that's the biggest pussy I've ever seen. This is Coco. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, what's your what's your cat called? Lucifer. Lucifer, yeah. Lucifer. And Satan. She has so, a cat named Satan. I'm trying to find my cat, but I don't think he's anywhere close by. Can you see I have a cat. Yeah. Soon? I didn't know that. What's your cat? Why is he attacking you? <laughs> my cat's name is Gandalf because he's gray, like like Gandalf. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm what nerd. about Gandalf the White? Cat. Well, if if uh, if he dies, I'll just get a white cat and call him Gandalf the White. Okay. And he'll be reborn. Yeah, exactly. Was, right. You're a fucking nerd, Alex. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So. It's very mad at me right now. Anyways, just be don't don't schedule anything for a day after you get the second one because it's fucking brutal, man. Noted. Hey, oh, it's just one day though. At least it's just one day. No, it's been twice, man. I've got it on Thursday. Twelve hours later, before I went to bed, I was like, "Uh oh, I do not feel good." Uh oh. And that whole night was terrible. Okay. In the next yesterday, I was wiped out completely. Um, Did drinking help? <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. It did for the time being. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Drinking always helps. Yeah, that's true. It's great medicine. It's the, the oldest medicine in the in the world, I think. So, yeah, drink when you're on it and take Tylenol. Don't take on <laughs> Dr. Oh, I was gonna, Dryer. Oh, I was going to take Advil. <laughs> Definitely no. don't oh. take your okay. <laughs> um, take Vicodin. Take Vicodin and wine, and you'll be fine. Take Vicodin, oh. wine, and Ambien, and then try to make it to your local Ralph's. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like a nightmare. Try Please. not to call all of your ex-girlfriends <laughs> and former employers. <laughs> former employers. Yeah. What? What did I do? I How think Mia... Mia's lying. She says that's water in her cup. I don't believe it. It's vodka. My water, I think. My, my water. My kind of water. 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 <laughs> Jake, that's a song on the next record. My water. My water. <laughs> my water. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. No. I miss Dusseldorf, actually. I love that place. We need to we fucking go and... Uh, what was that? that? That restaurant that Mia fucking i don't know how she like blackmailed them into letting us in after I, they closed I, I i did not i was nice to them they offered for <laughs> us and why not you probably offered to kill them was no, that the one with the, I, it's a traditional I japanese never. place in dusseldorf the traditional my favorite place mia you know my favorite one yeah, Kagaya, no? Kagaya yeah, yeah. then there was one too because will got into town and then we went straight to another one. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Alex, you weren't there for that, unfortunately. No, I, I had oh, just no. left. You would have left. I, I, was, I was visiting my cousin, I think, something like that. Yes, you are. You yeah. left us in Frankfurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that was the end of the Sonata tour. We had Will Walner come out. Before Corona, we tour, we party. Before the end of times. Yeah. The end of days. Yeah. Well.
How how are you feeling, Alex? Ah, uh, fine. You know. How's everything? I, uh, out in I mean, this news that this news that uh, it's even more unlikely that we're going to tour makes me sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not for certain, but it's not right. looking good. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not even just like if Ger- like just say Germany gets it. You know, you have France, you have Spain, um, Italy. Italy, Italy, Italy's Italy. gone. Yeah, France is. is well, where's the fucking mafia in Italy? Like, bring it. They should be like, you know, trying to oh, figure out a way to bring all these vaccines. <laughs> we should just. We should. Just, I mean, uh, isn't Australia open? We should just go to Australia. Well, we probably end up in Japan and then or Japan. Australia. Yeah, and New Zealand. Apparently, yeah, we're all hey, vaccinated. Don't let That's us in. Problem. What's that, Will? Well, no, I was going to say, like places like Japan and and uh, New Zealand and stuff, they don't have, they, they they won't let foreigners in. You know, yeah, they won't let them in. If, if you have the vaccine, they will. Are you that's sure? You I thought Japan and, just went on a major yeah. lockdown. A- ask Mia; she knows about Japan. Japan is shut down at the moment. Again, they don't like foreigners. Whoa. Yeah, they, they don't they, like foreigners. Like, no gaijin. No gaijin. <laughs> no gaijin. <laughs> no gaijin. <laughs> no gaijin. <laughs> Never, ever. What about uh? But yeah, and then Australia won't let it in, you know. What about China? China, I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> you guys should do a show in Wuhan. <laughs> do a show in Wuhan. <laughs> it's all open, right? Oh right. my god! No, I'm ground zero. Out to play a show. <laughs> Record release party in Wuhan. I'm coming. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, you I know? have a question. We we'll can answer this one. Dryer. What is I like that the guy calls me dryer? That's what Joseph calls me when he's been drinking. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite guitar player, Ingve or Andy LaRoque? Ooh. That's a tough one, man. Ingve. Uh fuck. I mean, they're both different, man. They're both different guys. It's like comparing apples and oranges. So um Ingve for his technique, Andy LaRoque for melodies. And That's a good answer. Of solos, because Ingve does, Ingve does badass solos, but he never remembers them. And when he's coked out <laughs> and fucking, in a fucking hangover on stage and drunk, he never plays the exact same thing. Andy Roroke actually has compositions in his leads and does it, but Ingve's technique, 1984, Ingve technique. I don't think there's anyone else though that can beat that. Oh, There's yeah. the headline on Blabbermouth. Ingve Malmsteen does coke and forgets his guitar solos. <laughs> Dude, check out Ingve Malmsteen if you guys want a cool video. Have you seen this one, Will? Where it's like, I think it's like 1994 or five. He's in <laughs> playing a Christmas bash in Germany. And he's it's during oh, his, bearded, his bearded era. Ah, okay, yeah. I, I know the bearded era, but I haven't seen that. He started getting fat, but man, he's playing like a fucking badass though. Like it's... He he had he it was the right amount of of coke. Is he still alive? Is he still alive? <laughs> he just played in Vegas. Like yeah, yeah, oh, dude, dude, yeah. it was great. Like down the street from my place, like two blocks okay, away. Okay, okay, sorry. Is Inve still alive? That's like the guy who asked if if Bruno is on on Achilles Priester's dad or. Vice versa. Oh yeah, yeah. What was yeah. that about? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody thought that Achilles Priester was uh, Bruno's dad for some reason. Why? Maybe because they both play drums and they're both from Brazil. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but that's pretty racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you play drums and you're from Brazil. <laughs> oh, I see. Must run but, in the family. But yeah, check out that that Ingve video. It's actually really good from modern Ingve. I mean, all Ingve is great in its own right, but. Yeah. Good question. That was tough. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What about you, Will? Will? What's your favorite Ingbe record? Um, I love Marching Out. Um, wow. I actually, yeah. I mean, I say I love it. There's a, there's one song. It's because I'm like Soldier Without Fortune. That for me, I think is his best solo. What about you, Alex? What's your favorite? Oh my God. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to just say Rising Force, but uh, Rising Force is definitely the one I listened, like the, the first album is the one I listened to the most. Yeah. What's your favorite Yin Johansson solo? Ooh, that's yeah. difficult, man. From Ingve era or just in general? Uh, in general. Uh, um, oh, shit. 
Oh, okay. Uh, it's from a Stradivarius album from like 2002 on like this obscure song that nobody cares about or listens to. Um, but the keyboard solo in it is sick. The song is called Know the Difference. And it's a weird, it's a weird song. Like I, I like you listen to it and you're like, what like is going on here? But the keyboard solo, top notch. Like amazing phrasing, uh, super melodic. The dude shreds. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's as close to perfection in a keyboard solo that I could think of. Um, it's just uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that song is. Yeah, it's the only thing I always look for when I look forward to. I listen to that song. It's like oh, I'm just gonna listen to this until I get to the keyboard solo and then move on. <laughs> All right. So if anybody out there knows that Stradivarius song, I I know the difference. It's from Elements the- Part Two. I haven't listened to that. I haven't listened to Stradivarius in a long time, but I learned I like the how- shit out of that solo. I think my favorite one is. Uh, from Odyssey. I like Odyssey. Odyssey's great. great. Yeah. But, uh, vocals. Yeah, it's just the fucking Dreaming is probably the best Ingve song, like as far as songwriting goes. But I still love Ingve's playing on Trilogy. Like I think that was like some of his most melodic playing and dynamic. Like Trilo- Trilogy Trilogy Suite's really cool. Trilogy Suite's great. Rising Force is my favorite. I think for his playing, he was great then. I think oh, yeah, man. that was his peak. Rising what about vocals? Uh, no parole for rock and roll. And who's the, who's, the, who's the best Ingve vocalist? Oh, Jesus. I He's mean, had quite a few I, good I like, ones. Mike, I, I like, well, I like Joe and Turner, but I like, I like Mike Viscera too. Yeah, he's good, but no, I don't think it was Viscera on, uh, on, uh, uh, Fire and Ice. It was someone else. Oh, it was this Swedish guy. Yeah, that guy was great. I actually like him second to uh, to Joe Lynn Turner. Um, I think his name is Goran you know, or something. Yeah, I don't who. I think his name is Goran or something. He, he yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was a weird. He's a vocal teacher now, I think, in Sweden. Oh, really? I yeah. mean, there were some things that guy did that I really liked. The thing about the Ingve stuff, and I'm about to fucking shit all over Ingve, is <laughs> that he, like, you, you can totally tell that, like, the singers just did whatever they want to some degree because all the records have a different. Uh oh. We lost. We lost Joseph. Joseph. Dude, Ingve right. hacked in to get Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Ingve hacked in. I'm not ready. having any of this. He's like, we, we, fuck anyway. you. I'm going to unleash the fury on them. <laughs> was that the ghost of Ingve talking with me? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, but seriously, um, like, you can tell some of those, like, vocal lines were written by a guitar player. Like, <laughs> It's like oh, yeah. some, it's like oh, yeah. just, it's ridiculous the way some of the, like, like the, the vowel movement like goes around certain melodies it's like something a guitar player would do it's nothing that like a vocalist would ever like consciously write yeah i mean i mean listen to i listen to the yngwie stuff for a lot of this guitar playing in general because his songs when i was a kid they were cool you know like i'm a viking you're a loser that was bad yeah dude (laughs) that's from marching out right yeah that was just fucking Great so, writing. Just, 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 Scott Soto, day, just Scott Soto sang on that album, right? That was Jeff Scott Soto. Yeah. yeah. And um, but uh, yeah, I mean the guitar playing though, from even his stuff like on Steeler, like that first record, like his guitar playing, not the songs, but the guitar playing. I mean, Inves is badass. We have a serious question though. Do you have deep debates about whether to do more direct five-minute songs or long progressive themes? Is there such a debate within the band, or do you both types of themes? No. I feel, I've, I feel like that question does get raised every now and then. At least Joseph is like, ever. It's like, it's like we love both, but what do we do more of? No, it, well, it's like it's never a debate. Whatever the song, whatever the right. song means. Right. Yeah. It, it, let's just say, like, we always debate everything because we're contentious assholes. <laughs> but um, we, uh, <laughs> we, we never let, like anything dictate what what kind of music comes out it's, yeah whatever thought put into it. 
yeah, it's not like we, we write a song and we're like, this is going to be, um, it's never going to be like, oh, like this song has to be this long. It's when it's done, it's done. Or if it's like, there's, it would make no point. So, but no, well, we, we did have a challenge, Jake from gerbil from uh 94 k rock over in new york uh i was like he played all blew away in full on his radio program so did my guy uh, Ron. right well gerbil i i was like is that the longest song you've ever played on there and i was like no probably in i got it and he's like not even close and he sent me this this song that was 58 fucking minutes what um, you played it you played yeah. it yeah yeah, he played it on his fucking radio show. <laughs> so he's like gauntlet thrown. So maybe uh, if we ever want to get out of our contract, that'll be <laughs> right a 58 minute. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to give Century Media one song, 50, an hour <laughs> long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to run. You guys continue this on, okay? I'm out. We have talk 10, to you 10 guys minutes. All. Will, yeah. nice talking to you, man. Yeah, Alex, great, to you, great man. talking to you, dude. Yep, always good seeing week. you, dude. Mia, my love to you in Germany. Joseph, I'll sure I'll talk to you in like five minutes. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Bye. Later, I'll dude. Get some food and wine. So, uh, Alex, what's up? What's going on over there? Oh, uh, let's see here, uh, dude. Just doing session work, man. What else am I going to do during COVID and no touring? I don't know. You know, I messaged uh, Anthony. I don't, I don't he didn't answer? He's busy I with, his, think so. with his girlfriend. Where's Anthony today? I don't know. What have I t- when was the last time I talked to Anthony? Let's see here. Oh, dude, that's, that's funny. I, I feel like my phone is listening to me. I said Anthony and Bruno, and my phone randomly just showed me a picture of me and Anthony and Bruno together. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. My phone is, is listening to me. This is going to be really fucking sad if, if we have to cancel. Well, we're not going to cancel, but if Evergrey has to cancel twice. Yeah. I mean, if it gets canceled, I mean, are we just going to get postponed or is it going to be canceled, canceled? And Joseph's gone. Great. Again. Dude, what is it? Joseph's mic is like weird. His connection's weird. Next time oh, I'm over yeah, at his I'm house, you, I got to take a look at it all. Going on, there's something going on in Las Vegas right now with the internet. Like, for the entire week, like, I, I'm hardwired in. Like, I'm not. Oh, dude, you know what's funny? I've been feeling for this past week that there's been something going on with my internet in, in, in like, around here. It's the fucking 5G. <laughs> there's too like, many people with, with 5G was, implants in them. They're overloading the capacity of the servers. I was on H Chan and I was reading some stuff. That's oh yeah. man, you're that's you're already going downhill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, something's going on, um, and uh, I'm really upset. I can't even get anyone on the phone over there. At the ISP. yeah, dude. Every time it's you know where I've actually it's funny you've mentioned five G because legitimately where I notice it the most is on my phone. When uh, that's where I notice the most where it's like really slow to connect to do anything. Uh, I don't know what's up, but uh, yeah, no, show us her pussy. What's uh, what's what? going on over there, Mia? Mia showing us her pussy. Oh, okay. <laughs> her pussy is <laughs> I mean, Joseph's the one who said it. Was yeah. that was that Joseph Lucifer? Was, was that Satan? Yeah. I think it was what, Satan. What's Will doing? I I'm think Alex is confused. Oh my God! You're such a Wa- boy. Watching, watching everything break apart. Actually, I wanted to just say, shout out Mia. You know, we have a, a mutual friend called Keiko. I just wanted to give a sh- shout out to my friend Keiko. She's a great person. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah. I remember you introduced me to Keiko like two years ago at the Rainbow. She's yeah, nice. dude, she's great, man. And, yeah. Um, you know. She's a nice sister. Absolutely, yeah. She's yeah. Uh, she's a great person, and uh, you know, so I just wanted to give a shout out to her. How do you remember anything to? at the Rainbow? What's that? 
Or the rainbow, what? How do you remember anything at the rainbow? Uh, dude, the rainbow's great, man. I love the place. <laughs> that was, uh, I'm not going to lie, that was one of the places I was kind of worried about during all the whole COVID thing. I was like, man, if any place can survive this, at least let it be the rainbow. The it rainbow would really suck to lose that place. <laughs> I've been going the whole time. They they opened up, you know, they have tables in the parking lot for everybody. Right. Yeah, if I was a, if I lived a little closer, I'd I would go there all the time too, for sure. I, I did, and I I get it to go actually. Uh, I, you know, oh. I don't dine in. I just get yeah, it but go. that's but you're literally walking distance, so yeah, yeah. It's my <laughs> yeah, uh, Alex. Drive forty five minutes each way just to get rain. Forty five, dude, more like an food. hour and twenty. Right. In COVID traffic? Oh, uh, you know, in COVID traffic, an hour. Okay. I think all right. Joseph and I went to Rainbow. Maybe 20 years ago, right? Oh, my God, yes. Wow. In, I think uh, I actually heard this story. You guys told me this story. <laughs> well, there are many stories, and they were right. told on this fucking Yeah, I know. I remember but, uh, it, was a, it was an interesting story. I can't say anything today. <laughs> Nothing. Um, but I met Mia in 1999, I think. Yeah, when I was a high school student. So I didn't know that. Don't me yeah, too. I me. Was. I was. <laughs> Um, and I was hanging out with this guy named Lord Goo. Good. Do you remember good. him, Mia? Good. Good. Dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's gay. What? Dead. When did he die? Long time ago, he died in New York. He's gay and died. Yeah, well, I know he he broke up with his girlfriend, Miss Muffin. <laughs> you're making this up there's no way that a guy this named this is well, this is mr goo and he was married to no. miss muffin there, you lord are, goo you are so he was married making this up you were lord goo yeah, did not true, marry right? Miss muffin i don't believe you there's no way <laughs> he's very gay huh? he's gay wait he's gay he's or what's gay. gay yeah oh, very then, gay. why was he married to miss muffin was miss miss was miss muffin gay, gay? It was Mr. His wife was very beautiful. Okay. I remember. Yes. I heard. Oh, get Joseph. Yes. Miss Muffin, they, the, look, these two were insane. That's all I'm going to really go with. I mean, one's called Lord Goo and the other Lord one's called Miss Muffin. Like a, it's funny because he was a producer. He was one of the first guys I met in LA that had a studio. Um, and he was also into like S&M. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't need to. I didn't need somebody to tell me that to figure that out. I could figure no, that out just I by the names. Yeah, I mean they were funny ass people. I mean we used to do a lot of like S ecstasy and LSD, and um, that was how I met Mia um, <laughs> on the patio in a weird thing. fever dream. Well, I, I was definitely in a fever dream, and I had some crazy ass clothing back then. Um, no, I have dude, a picture of you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, I that was but Mia had like this whole. See, Mia was kind of like the queen mother of Los Angeles for like the Asian community, for the Japanese community. Mm -hmm. She uh, she had like five or six Japanese girls always surrounding her and causing a bunch of trouble. And we went to. We were on Japanese newspaper. Yes, I have it still over here. Really? Trunk. Why were you yeah. on a Japanese newspaper? I, I was there too. Like it was weird. Was it was the Japanese newspaper not approving? <laughs> they were like, "What is going on? These people are corrupting us." Uh, no, it was about Mia and her going to America at the age of whatever age she was. Oh. Um, I think Mia had some sort of fame. Were you on a TV show or something, Mia? Yeah, many times. Uh -huh. I was famous before. Wow. Yeah. And now she uses her powers for good to help <laughs> with her fall to tour Japan. Yeah. Alex is waiting for us to go to Japan, Mia. That that would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, I think be Will nice? should join yeah. us. I think Will should should uh, learn some of the guitar parts and come along with us to Japan. Will, you should do it. <laughs> it'll be like it'll be like uh, dude that, that tour. It'll be like Spain. <laughs> 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 
You can yeah, even wear your question. white outfit. I have a question for Will since this uh -oh. is a uh, uh, time for Will. I have a question for you. Sorry? I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. I'm listening. Yeah. Have you ever been to Japan or? Yeah, I went with, to Japan with Jake um, in the band White Wizard. And, yeah, um, White Wizard, yeah. We um, we played like one show in Shibuya, and actually Keiko was in Japan at the time, so she came to the show. Uh -huh. Okay. And then um, you know it was a great weekend, and actually, you know, last year I actually bought an apartment in Tokyo. What? Really? What? Yeah. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, it's had, I mean, I'm saying Tokyo. It's in a place called Saitama, which is like a just north of Tokyo, okay. but it's, it's like a yeah, suburb. Saitama. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You, bought, you bought an apartment in Tokyo in the height <laughs> of COVID? Yeah, basically, it's rent, It's like an investment property. So I, I, uh, okay. I love Japan. I, dude, don't be surprised if within the next year or two, I kind of go to Japan for like six months or something. I want sure. to be out in the countryside drinking tea with a bunch of like, you know, old oh, Japanese women. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like my dream. But no, um, I wanted to buy a place in Japan. And then there's this guy who has like a service for foreigners who want to invest in Japanese real estate. And he, it's like an investment thing, but it's like, you know, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm oh, actually okay. looking to buy a second place in, okay. in central Tokyo, so. Okay, can I ask which city in Saitama? Um, the station is called, it's it's close to a station called My Harara Station. It's it's next oh, okay. to the one I that's, I think it's the Karo, Karagoa, you know, there's this Kawagoe. Ido, Kawagoe region. Yeah, which is like yeah. the it's like um, what's it called? Like the samurai era, the Edo era or uh -huh. something. They have this little village which is like everything looks yeah. like from there. Wow. It's, it's like five minutes from there, I think. But um, you know, I I probably will never actually use the apartment myself, it's just as an investment, but I am looking to get a place in either are you renting it right now? Yeah, I bought it. It had someone in there already. It's like a long-term investment oh. thing. And then this guy, he manages it for me. But I'm you looking for a place. out and move there. Well, <laughs> I'm looking for a place Let's in go. either Shibuya or Shinjuku that's going to be like... Shinjuku. 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 You yeah. Got, yeah. Um, you know, it's like I, the two places I loved are LA and, and Tokyo. So I want to kind of... Now I'm back in LA. I want to kind of now look to spend some time in Tokyo as soon as I can, you know. Because, right. You can you rent out like your cats out. to the cat, like the petting hotel thing. Oh, there. yeah. They have like a cat cafe or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I know those. Yeah. yeah. They, they have one here in LA. Cat cafe. What? They do? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's down on Melrose. Did that happened. It's on Melrose. Uh, of course, it's on Melrose. It's probably got on Melrose. It's probably, it probably is one of the places that went out of business because of COVID, but um, it, they used right. to be like a few months ago. But I heard Lady Gaga's dog was stolen near yeah. Melrose. Oh, her well, dog, yeah. Yeah, but you know what's funny, Mia? That's very close to where Jake's apartment is in LA. Yes. It's right yeah, there yeah. in Hollywood, yeah. Yeah. That's right. They, um, I, I think it was a setup, to be honest with you. Yeah, it sounds like it was a setup, yeah. She was just trying to get, she, you know, she hadn't had any press for a while. She's like, I'm going to hire some hitman to shoot my dog uh -huh. and kidnap my little Frenchies. Totally, totally. It's Lady Gaga. But, um, yeah. I would love to go to Japan and hang out with you guys, seriously. That would be like a We dream. have to do that. Seriously. Yeah. Like, when, when do you think that will happen, Mia? When will Witherfall be in Japan? Or maybe the easier question to answer is, when is Japan going to even open? <laughs> I think, yeah, to be honest, to be honest, I want to go to Japan, but they don't need me. They don't want me. So I think... They don't want you? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, because she bought Witherfall last time with her. So. <laughs> oh my god. She's not like we don't want her coming back. Yeah, it's like no, we disown, yeah, we disown me. Why don't out. they want you? It, I ca I cannot go to Japan. I cannot stay there because of Why? Chinese uh, uh coronavirus. Oh yeah, you, oh you could you mean well nobody can go to Japan because of the coronavirus. I don't have a Japanese passport. I cannot stay there. I cannot enter even. Japanese government shut the foreigners completely. Right. But when? When can we? Yeah, when can we go? Maybe next 
year. I'm not a politician. I I, I don't know, but hopefully yes, you are. But I'm talk. Oh, can Senator I say? Senator Mia. <laughs> I'm talking to the Japanese agency to for in visa for. Mm -hmm. Hopefully next year. We don't know. Then I hope so. Then, when we go to Japan, hopefully we can come and join us for sushi or a restaurant. Just oh remember, God. we had amazing food over there. Yes, and we signed a sword. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Big bacon. Yeah. yeah. So, Will, Will Walner, there's a question for you. Really? Are you you a fan of Iron Maiden, Gary Moore, and Richie Blackmore? <laughs> um, listen, nothing against Iron Maiden. Of course, they're an amazing band, but they're not one of my heartfelt loves. Gary Moore is, Richie Blackmore is, mm -hmm. um, Eddie Van Halen is, John Sykes is. John Sykes. Iron Maiden's great, but they're, you know they're not a band that I obsessed over the way that I do for uh, Gary Moore and Richie. But you're Blackmore. in White Wizard. Come on, come on. <laughs> Stop bringing it up. You're making fun of me. I'm, <laughs> you. I'm, I'm gonna not make fun of I'm you. I'm going to drive to Vegas and kick your ass, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> now, this reminds me of the tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. now this is bringing back memories of White Wizard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that Greg contacted me. Who? Greg. <laughs> Fucking family guy. Family guy? Oh, what? My God. Greg contacted you? Why? Because. Dude, Greg, supposed... Will, Will, Greg, 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 well, Greg. From, the, from the tour. From Red Dragon or whatever. Uh, Red what Dragon. was it? Fan called? I don't remember. Yeah, Red Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> from Desert Dragon, Greg Panatone, or whatever his name is. That's what it was. <laughs> what did yeah. Greg want? Greg, Greg was mad because, like, I don't know, like something to do with some ASCAP registrations. Like, he, he obviously didn't read the contract that we signed. What a moron. I know. <laughs> and and someone, someone's like, who's this Alex guy? He looks like a Sonata Arctic fanboy. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Max from last time. Remember Max? Oh, lovely. Yeah. Rock Alex roll. doesn't like Sonata Arctica at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, they're they're cool. I mean, uh, you know, I grew up listening to them. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just remember we were remember remember Will we were in Spain, and we were at that heavy metal karaoke bar. Oh yeah. And fucking Alex was singing some goofy power metal songs. Do you remember that? Wait. Yeah. Wait. wait where? Oh. In the, doing the oh, oh, I remember that. This was in um. Dude, what was that? It's that place where we went to that restaurant that was really good, right? And they were like, yeah. they had like a party throughout the entire night. Yeah, and then Greg was like, okay, get one bottle of that fucking uh, cider. And the oh, yeah, do you remember that? Coming. Dude, <laughs> dude, did you remember? By the end, there was a bot that we had enough bottles for each person. At least. There was like eight bottles, at least. Yeah. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, was He's amazing. like, all right, I guess we'll get one bottle, eight bottles later. <laughs> yeah, because he just kept coming and pouring it. Dude, yeah, that place was great. And yeah, you're right. I, I did sing. There was, I, I, if I remember correctly, it's because one of the girls that, were, that we were hanging out with, she was like, oh, I love Rhapsody. Can you sing Rhapsody? I was like, oh, I, yeah, sure. I could, I could sing Rhapsody. And um, they actually had Rhapsody of Fire, and so we—I don't even remember what song it was, but uh, yeah, it was—it uh, was—it was a—it was, was a long night. <laughs> I don't was remember. That goofy YouTube uh, thing where like it, it like tracks what you're doing. It was some weird. Wait, what? Weird... Yeah, it was like that game where it tracks your fucking vocal. Oh, that's right. They give you like a score. Yeah. Dude, yeah, you remember this night better than I. I, I don't remember it until you mentioned. I remember everything. I can remember all the way back till I was like two years old, man. Like, <laughs> like, like I, I mean, I, after you mentioned it, it like I jogged my memory. I was like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just Will was the there. I don't know what Will was moment. doing though. 
I Han, the bet- I was very bored. You were there. You were drinking. Um, I remember pinching your butt, Alex, while you were trying to sit. That does sound familiar. <laughs> yes, you weren't going high enough, so I was going to help you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the the best moment of that tour was when Greg put Will's fucking white jumpsuit in the laundry. Oh, that with fucking me. asshole! <laughs> I had the coolest white outfit, Dude. and I looked like a saint for one show. And then I stupidly said, okay, I'm going to wash it. And I let Greg do it. He goes, yeah, I washed that along with my black jeans. I hope that's okay. And now I have a gray outfit. And he's like, Hey, what? guys, I know more, but I'm not going to say anything. No, I remember. I remember that, dude. I, that white outfit. You, were, you loved that thing, too, because I remember you were wearing that. Oh, man, you were wearing that after at our show at Vigo, right? Yeah, I wore it on stage. And, yes. You know, it was very attention grabbing. And, it and was. I didn't like that because he wananted the attention to be on him because he was the other guitar player. Right. She's like, don't don't wear white ever again. You have to wear black like every other member so that you know we will look the same. Dude, um, I, I'll never forget that picture that Joseph took of us where <laughs> you're wearing your white whatever, and uh, I'm just standing there looking at you. Uh, I don't know where that picture is at the point. Well, no, it. because there was a, a clockwork orange themed bar across the street. And it was funny because, you know, in the clockwork orange, they wear a white outfit. Right. I happened to be wearing this white outfit. So I'm like, dude, look at the name of that bar. It's like, you know. That's right. Yeah. It's meant to be. But um, <laughs> the outfit is now gray and in the trash. Yeah, that, dude, that, that, uh, what, I don't know what you call it, alleyway street that that venue was at was a very interesting, like, there was a lot of um, like um, weird, not weird, but it was like the place we played at was like vampire themed, right? Yeah, it's in Vigo, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the place we played at was a vampire themed. Next to it was like a clockwork orange thing. Like, and it was just like that entire area was, uh, yeah, it was very interesting. It was very kind of like not normal uh, in a cool way. <sighs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but yeah um did we just lose oh we lost joseph he's yeah. gone he's out he's out it's just gone point. he's right. completely so, gone so uh, mia what time is it in dusseldorf right now it's it's a 121 oh wow holy shit okay i've been listening to you guys but <laughs> oh damn it i thought i thought now that you were gone me and will could just talk about our love for star trek deep space nine for the next oh, hour oh god no no Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. I recently finished rewatching the entire s- series. Isn't it amazing? Dude, it gets better every time. It's <laughs> like it's on enough when you watch TV today and then yeah. you watch that, you realize just how untalented everyone is today. <laughs> yeah. What we had in the 90s. Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy because uh it, this is so weird, right? Because like you can actually like see the more money they spend on production and like high-end like computer graphics and all this stuff. <laughs> The less, oh, no. the less, the less acting and character matters now. All of a sudden, <laughs> what are you doing? Man? I just want to show you guys like my Star Trek hallway. Oh, I, oh, I no. hate you so much for this. So I just I'm so I've jealous. Every actor, it's a, um, it's a eight by ten signed, and these are Deep Space Nine ones. Jesus. Yeah, I hate you so much. Do you have Scott so Bakula, or is that a different uh, uh, era? Oh, that's Enterprise. Look, I, I've got I've got signatures from lots of famous people. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my that's god! Hilarious. No! Oh my god! Sorry, we're gonna get, get canceled. It? How did you get it? <laughs> Oh, you know, this is from when he was doing The Apprentice. It's, this isn't from President Trump. This really? is from, from yeah. It, he says, good luck in your new position. Do a great job, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, my God. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Yeah. I want one. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so jealous of your wall. Damn it. Yeah, me too. Oh, Lord. Oh, Someone okay. Just I, you know, I'm going gonna, gonna to show you some other cool shit. In my oh, no. Someone asked me who my favorite singer is, and... Uh, it just depends on how drunk I am, honestly. Sometimes it's picture? fine, Toby. Uh, let me see. I got to click on it to see it. Let's see here. Uh, who Don't is, say it. Sing with Bon Jovi. I see it I'm now. I'm not singing Bon Jovi on here. There's not enough people. Ha! Ah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> I need an audience. It's the sound for us. I know. I can't wait till we can play some shows and I can sing again. Yeah. Um, Isn't that sad, Alex? It sounds very sad. 
What the fuck is that, Will? I'm just I'm I'm moved to my studio, but the sun oh is like God. beaming down on me. We're we're gonna end this in six minutes. So Will, show us something good. He okay. already showed he showed us the best thing he has. I'm gonna show well. you something. This is probably my coolest piece of art. Okay, look at this picture. Guess who drew this? Legit, Michael Jackson drew that. No, Michael Jackson yeah. drew that. I bought it from his from when they sold all the shit from Neverland. They auctioned off all of his stuff. And How much that is that is that from Michael Wait, Jackson. Do you have a dog or a cat? Have I have a, a dog and a cat. Let's go visit Coco and Lizzie. This yeah. is how they... I don't know if you Oh, can... Lord. Oh, that, my is God. That, that is that is a picture of Frank Sinatra? Boy, yeah, cat. that's from my dad. Oh, yeah, wow. His dad cool. loves Sinatra. I, I mean, yeah, let me show you all my Frank Sinatra paintings in my... Apartment. Oh, my God. You have more than one. Okay. My favorite is this one above my piano. It's, it's, oh. It's, it's, that it's is got nice. multiple Franks on there. It's yeah. It's a beautiful painting. Um, oh yeah, and another one here too. It's pretty cool. One minute, I'm just walking around my apartment, showing you dude. dude yeah. you, you make you make you make me really realize how barren my walls are. Dude, like, your house is so fucking empty. Absolutely barren compared to <laughs> Will's. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. I've got a cool picture of Lemmy here. The former. Oh, Lord nice. This is cool. I have some very cool neighbors, right? This I get this in my mailbox. So my friend saw Ozzy and Sharon at the farm. Oh, Sharon. Didn't she just, just get me too? He took a yes, yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. Because um, you can't, you know, Meghan Markle. Um, you know. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, that go is kind of crazy. You think? Yeah. Yeah. What can I they're say? They're the the fucking they're royals. They leech off the fucking people and live <laughs> extravagant lives. Uh -oh. Who gives a fuck? Joseph's about to get me, dude. <laughs> like, who gives a fuck about what they say or do or fucking? You know how hard it is when you're worth like millions of dollars that you get every you know year from the UK taxpayers. That like you know how hard it obviously is to, like, get mean comments and bullied on Twitter or something. She's suffering, that right? Way. It must be really hard to be a black a woman as a princess. <sighs> She's not black. She's half white. She's she's such an awful person. I'm sorry, but yes. she, you know, she's yeah. so obsessed she's with her. Yeah, the black. whole world is suffering now, and she goes on Oprah and talks about how hard our life is. Right? Yeah, yeah. it is. It was all, pretty tone all, deaf for sure. All these really, you know, if you go to LA, there's people are really hard up right now, and yeah. she's complaining. They're living on the fucking streets. She literally yeah, was especially complaining LA. because their baby won't be an official prince of England. She says, <laughs> imagine that was like one of the things that she was upset about. I'm like, you're complaining that yeah. your kid isn't the prince. You know, no, they what? made they built the guillotine for people like that. Like they should bring it back. They should chop yeah. all their fucking heads off. They should <laughs> reclaim, reclaim the fucking the, she, the the whole palace, bring it back into the fucking people's coffers. Let she Parliament wants to run be things. Queen of England, but she wants to live in Malibu. Well, that's every fucking girl's dream, isn't I was, it? I was about to say, I can't blame her for wa wanting to live in Malibu. Well, hold on. Really nice. Did you guys hear she says she's going to run for president? Did you hear about No. That? She says is, she's, she's a US she's citizen, thinking, isn't she? She's American, yeah. She's thinking oh, she is going to run for, for, um, for president. I didn't you hear imagine? that. I just heard the racial stuff. Yeah, it's saying now, she, you know, she's thinking about her, she wants to be she wants to be the queen of England and the president of America. Oh. At the same time, I'm telling you, that'd be that'd be kind of crazy. That would only, be kind of crazy. <laughs> oh my Some god! Some people only the that, one, only that Kardashian dude way. woman could do that. <laughs> oh, what's um, Bruce Jenner? Like I he could. Bruce, no, he's not called Bruce. What's he called now? Caitlyn. Um, I don't Caitlin, remember. That's it. Oh, yes, he, that's he what could it was, be, yeah. She, Shim. I don't know. Like they could be like the. The president of the United States and also the Queen of England. Like that's possible. Actually, there I was someone. The there was someone, I think it's John McAfee. Do you know this guy? He the is the yes. guy? Yeah, he's the only guy who's eligible to be the King of England and the president of America or something, because he was born on an American um like military base in England. Right. So right, he, was, right. he was technically born kind of like in American soil, but in England or something like that. I, I You've been watching too many funny, Netflix right? documentaries in COVID times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw, saw that too. Yeah. 
I think Mega Marker, she wants a title or a topic because for money, she needs the money. Anyway. We all need yeah. the money, Mia. We all need the yeah. money. Me too, me too, but I don't have what do you think, Mia, of Meghan Markle? What What's your take on Meghan Markle? I hate her, personally. <laughs> out of topic. She's disgusting. Yes. It is not about race, because I'm not white, I'm Asian. But yes. she has to understand the Congress. I think she's, and, I think she's you know, she you said her. she said how Sam Archie is a maybe he's going to be a he, he's going to have a dark skin, but it's a normal topic for family, isn't it? You know, if I marry to white guy, then family will talk. Okay, the baby will be dark. Skin or white skin, it's, it's normal, it's not racist at all. It's a uh, curious as a human being, huh? I think the queen's gonna kill her. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are we done yet? No, no I, I hate Mega Marco. I mean, she's, it's like, she's like everyone else. She wants to be Kim Kardashian, you know what I mean? They, it's like, she wants, she, you know, she just wants to be famous and she, they have no idea of really, you know, when she, she plays, she wants to play a victim. And it's like, dude, you, you have the best life in the world. You live in the yeah, multi-million dollar mansion. All. It's awful. These people are so, you know, whatever. In the hurry, Prince Harry is sad, guy. If they want to know <laughs> suffering, they should have been on tour with, you know, me and Joseph and Alex through Spain. That's suffering. Yeah. Hey, Alex is gone. Where the fuck is he? Oh, did yeah. Alex leave? I think he's afraid he's, that uh, <laughs> something is going to be said. He's going to get me too for this conversation. Good Lord. Well, I got to wrap this up, but this has been absolutely entertaining. We should, uh, we should do this again sometime. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah. Lovely chatting to you, and um, congratulations yeah. on your new album, of course. Hey, Thanks, Will. Bro. Thank oh, you. Exactly. Will, um, we're going to be in uh, in San Diego doing the wine in May. Oh, Will should come. I'll drive down, should come. I drive down to San Diego all the time, man. Just let me know. Dude, dude I'll let you know where our, uh, where our uh, Airbnb is, and you should, like, there's tons of hotels and stuff near there. I mean, you could stay in our Airbnb. I don't know if there'll be a bed, but... Uh, you can come drink with us for sure. Yeah, just let me know, man. Let me know. It's it's the seventeenth, May seventeenth. Rock and, and roll. Yeah, everybody out there, uh, we'll be live at the winery, getting blasted and wasted, and uh, talking about pussy and uh, Meghan Markle again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll talk I to you guys. You. Soon. See you later, guys. Uh, bye, Mia. Bye, Will. Bye.